During the first semester, I took algebraic topology, taught by Edwin Spanier, differential geometry, taught by Blaine Lawson, and differential equations, taught by Charles Morey. I also sat in on courses in algebra, number theory, group theory, dynamical systems, automorphic forms, and functional analysis. The three courses I enrolled in ended up having a big influence on me. Before coming to Berkeley, I thought I knew about topology, which involves the study of shapes in the most general sense, as well as patterns and categories of shapes. But Spanier's course on algebraic topology, which transformed topological problems into algebraic ones, offered a whole new take on the subject. I was nervous in the beginning because students were expected to interact more in class than I was used to. I wasn't prepared to say much at first, whereas many other students were much less hesitant and seemed to know what they were talking about. A couple of weeks later, after having gotten through a big chunk of the textbook, which was written by Spanier himself, I realized that most of the students were just spouting nonsense, showing off, in other words. Lawson's course helped spark my interest in geometry, which is like topology in that it also focuses on shapes, but in a much more specific way. In geometry, which concerns the exact shape of an object, a sphere and a cube are wholly distinct. In topology, however, a sphere and a cube belong to the same class of objects, and are equivalent, in other words, because one can be deformed into the other with some bending and stretching, but no cutting or tearing. Back in Hong Kong, I had viewed mathematics as an abstract subject. For the most part, I was on my own then, clinging to the rather unformed opinion that the more abstract areas of the discipline were somehow better, that they were purer and closer to the essence of mathematics, and therefore closer to the truth itself. I assumed that I would concentrate on an abstract subject like operator algebra, which was a branch of functional analysis I'd become intrigued with at Chongqi in consultation with Elmer Brody, a lecturer in mathematics.